Parker, are we gonna launch this? How Hi, no thank you. Mm -hmm. What are we drinking? Can I do a tall uh, pumpkin cream cold brew? Mm -hmm. Tall pumpkin cream cold brew, what else do we And know? then can I do a venti ice water as well, please? Oh, thank you. That's it. Just need some uh, time. It's gonna be 516. Thank you. And like I've looked at old journal entries and it's a- uh, You're on please, you need to find your way. Get back! Um, no, but we can go back to the house and get some. Mm -hmm. You all done? You do not know what I have in mind. Oh, God! I packed our bags, we'll be on our way. Good official morning, you guys. Nathaniel actually went into the office today, which like never happens, but if you guys didn't know, we only have one car. So that means I am stranded at home today. It's usually not an issue that we have one car, but there's some certain like situations where it is a little restricting. But luckily my mom actually has this week off of work and she had already offered to take the kids for a little bit. So Echo just took her first nap. I'm about to wake her up and my mom is on her way. She's gonna come pick them up, take them to the park and to lunch so that I can get a few things done around the house. And then she's gonna bring them back right before their second nap or Rocky's first nap. So the day should go by super quick and be good. I am very thankful for my mom and her help. She works for a school, so when she has breaks, she is always so willing to take the kids so that I can do some things around the house and get some work done. And I just love her, she is the absolute best. But I'm excited to share the day with you guys. I'm gonna do a few more fall like festive things have some updates, and just have a cozy day at home. It's been 72 weeks in this town I still believe I'll see you again Clearly, I dropped the ball on filming my last day of 75 hard with you guys. It just quickly became a chaotic day. Um, I had pictures for Rocky in the morning, and then we had pictures in the afternoon as well, just to like show our end product. And then my sister's bridal shower was the next day and I needed to make a balloon arch for that. So it just like quickly became a busy day and I didn't find time to pick up the camera. But I did want to share my overall experience with you guys and like what I learned from it. But before I get into how that transformed my own personal, physical, and mental health, I did want to share how I have been proactive about my kids' health too. As I'm sure you guys know, we are leading into the cold and flu season and I want to do everything possible to make sure that my kids stay healthy in the process, which is why I'm so excited to be partnering with Haya on today's video. Haya is a daily children's vitamin 
multivitamin that is cleaner and tastier, always with zero added sugar and zero gummy junk. So you can be confident that your children are receiving the full body nourishment that they need to grow into healthy adults. Typical children's vitamins are basically candy in disguise. They are filled with so much sugar and unhealthy chemicals, which is why Haya was created, the pediatrician approved super powered chewable vitamin. Now I'm gonna be honest, when I first found out that this was a chewable vitamin, I was a little nervous if Rocky was gonna take it. You guys know toddlers are extremely picky, but to my pleasant surprise, the boy is obsessed with them. Last night, he was literally asking to take it after dinner because he thinks it's candy. He loves the taste, and he now calls it his nummy candy that makes him strong. Oh, boy. <laughs> we can only have one a day, okay? If you guys didn't know, 93% of kids actually don't eat enough fruits and vegetables, and unfortunately, my kids are part of that statistic. Feeding toddlers is such a struggle, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced as well. And so I love that high as a multivitamin is formulated with help from nutritional experts to fill in the most common gaps in modern children's diets to provide the full body nourishment that our kids need without sacrificing the taste. Haya is pressed with a blend of 12 organic fruits and vegetables, then supercharged with 15 essential vitamins and minerals to support immunity, energy, brain function, mood, concentration, teeth, bones, and more. Not to mention it's non-GMO, vegan, dairy-free, allergy-free, nut-free, gelatin-free, and everything else you can think of. And the best part is I love the convenience of this multivitamin. It's sent straight to your door so that way you don't have to add another thing to your to-do list. And you get this super cute bottle that you can customize within your first order and then they send eco-friendly refills each month. So if you'd like to make getting your kids and nutrients in easier. Haya is offering you 50% off your first purchase. Go to hayahealth.com backslash Kyleen Rodriguez or click the link in my description box. I'm so excited for you guys to try it out. I can't wait for your kids to be equally as obsessed with it as Rocky is and I cannot wait to give it to Echo as well when she is of the appropriate age. Okay, let's chat all things 75 hard. So today is Thursday. We ended last Friday. So this is, I think, my sixth day without being on 75 hard. And I have so many different thoughts, but I wanted to first share just like my overall experience. Throughout the entire process, there was definitely ups and downs of like, I love this, this is like the best program ever, I feel so good. And then there was parts where I was just like, why am I doing this? This is dumb, this is too much. And then of course I ended on like a high too because I accomplished something that felt really good to accomplish and that felt really hard to do. And so it was definitely like a roller coaster ride, but overall I am so happy and proud that I did it. I remember listening to Andy Frisella's podcast about 75 Hard and he had mentioned at the end that like you'll be able to tell like who did it and who did it fully and who didn't cheat and I was just like oh gosh like that's a lot of pressure hopefully like I know what that feeling is but I don't know if I will and I feel like I get it like it just feels like such a change within my mentality and the way that I speak to myself and we can get into like my weight loss and progress but like this mental shift has been the most transformative thing way past the physical changes. So I'll pop up a before and after here for you guys. I started the day after I got home from my sister's bachelorette party and so I was pretty bloated. I weighed, I believe, 159.2 to start and within a few days I was down to 156. So I would say 156 is like where I was at kind of, but I did start at 159. And then the last day I weighed 150 even. So technically I lost about nine pounds. I did record my weight on the lowest days that I weighed myself. And so the lowest that I got was 149.4. Um, I had two days where I weighed that. And so that technically is like a 10 pound, 9.8 pound loss, which is pretty significant, I feel like, for 75 days. Like, I think that's a steady weight. But like I said, everything mental was just such a bigger drastic change. Um, my inner voice is so much more positive. I feel like I tell myself that I can do things. I don't question if I can do it. Um, I don't try and talk myself out of things as much, and I don't dread things as much. Um, I look forward to all of my workouts and now that we've been done I find myself trying to work out twice because my body just like craves the movement now My workouts throughout the entire process were lifting one of the times and then walking Sometimes I ran for the walk, but I think I only did that like a handful of times and sometimes I did walk twice but for the majority of the time that's what I did and so 
Now moving forward, what I've found myself doing is wanting to lift and then I've been wanting to walk too. Um, that walk can sometimes include my kids. Like this morning we walked and got donuts. Um, but I haven't been walking more than like 30 minutes. I have just enjoyed it Like we've continued to wake up early and get those walks in and it just has felt like something That's like so refreshing to me and it just makes my body feel good and it's also a lot nicer outside right now So I'm really enjoying it, but that was such a struggle. We did it over the summer and we had the hottest summer here in the longest time. We had 30 plus days in a row of over 110 degrees. And so I am tan. Like everyone I see, they're like, oh my gosh, you're so tan. I'm like, yeah, it's because I've been outside every single day for almost an hour. Yeah, it, it was definitely a struggle. Um, but I wanted to share a few tips with you guys. If you want to do it, definitely take it day by day. There was a point in which I thought about how many days I had left. And I was like, oh my gosh. We have so long to go and that immediately put me in a negative headspace. So I stopped doing that. I was like, nope, we're just taking it day by day. With water, a lot of the times I hadn't drank enough water by the end of the day. And so I had to chug water before bed, which means I had to wake up and pee. And so I suggest having certain times that you finish like water at. Um, my goal was always three Stanleys and then like a little bit extra because three Stanleys is 120 ounces and you need 128. And so I would try and finish the first one by like 10 a.m., the second one by like 1 or 2 p.m., and then the third one by like 5 or 6. But I was honestly really bad at doing that. And a lot of times I was chugging the majority of my water from like 5 to 9 p.m., which was not fun throughout the night. So definitely be good about that. And then also just have a plan. If you have anything going on in your day that isn't in your normal Finding the time for that second workout is really hard um, and I had to squeeze it in many times. I remember one time we were going to go out to dinner with friends and I hadn't done my second walk and I didn't want to do it at 9 p.m. when I got back. And so I literally walked until the minute we left and I went to dinner sweaty and I was just like, it is what it is. I also went on many trips throughout this process. We went to a cabin. We went to Mexico. I went to California on a bachelorette party and all of it i sticked to it and my biggest advice for that is to plan ahead um, i brought a lot of protein options so that way my diet stayed good which if you guys are curious the diet that i followed was a high protein diet and i wanted to be conscious about my portion controls if i was going to have something that wasn't healthy um, like for an example on rocky's birthday which was another obstacle we literally threw a party that day um, and of course there's always like yummy treats and that was definitely testing but we have a tradition on Rocky's birthday to all eat the cake from the like cake tray and I didn't want to not be a part of that tradition and so I literally had one bite of cake and I called it good which my personality is not that I'm either like strictly on a diet or I binge out on food and so that has been so transformative for me and I'm, I'm so glad that I allowed myself to work on that throughout this entire time because now that we're off of it, I have not been going crazy. I've been really sticking to what we basically did before but minus a few meals where we've had where we have allowed ourselves to just like not think about it, you know? But yeah, planning ahead is a huge, huge thing that just makes everything so much easier. The biggest thing that I'm kind of struggling with after it is not wanting to lose like my progress not necessarily just like physically but also mentally i have just felt so good and it can be kind of like scary to just like then go back to what you did before and lose kind of the momentum that you've had and so we've kind of came up with a plan in order to do what we were doing but kind of soften it down a little bit um, we are still reading every single day. We had one day where we didn't read the day after and then we jumped right back into it because we didn't want to get out of that habit. Which side note, I'm reading Jenna Kutcher's book, How Are You Really? And I've just been really obsessed with her lately. And then I read um, The 5 a.m. Club and I read The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. That book was like over 500 pages so that definitely took a long time and I just read those two books. But we are still reading. We are still trying to drink as much water as possible. We have a minimum of 80 ounces, which it's so crazy how quick you can get out of the habit of drinking enough water because I've definitely not hit that some of the days. And then we're also still trying to stick to a very similar diet. Our diet was not restricting and so it's really made it easy to continue that lifestyle. Side note, Nathaniel actually gained weight while doing this program. He like gained muscle, but he looks so much leaner and I just feel like a high protein diet is literally so just beneficial to your life, um, but I'll get off my high horse on that. And then we're still moving our body every single day. If we don't go to the gym, we want to at least walk for 30 minutes and just keep movement a part of our 
lifestyle, a part of our routine, um, and really just that part of a habit. But yeah, I could go on and on, but I don't want this clip to be like too long. But if you guys are considering it, I highly recommend trying it. I feel like my mental strength and my inner voice is so positive and that's like the biggest thing that I feel like I want everyone to experience aside from like the physical part. I feel like I keep emphasizing that, but yeah, I just feel like mentally I can handle so much more and it's just been so like amazing to see it affect all other aspects in my life. And then, sorry, one more thing. I really feel like it helped my marriage so much. We did this together and I think if we didn't do it together, it would have been frustrating and not helpful. But I feel like both of us have just become so much more confident in ourselves and our abilities. We're clearly like just 10 times more attracted to each other because we just watched each other go through something that was hard and stick to it and we encouraged each other. And I really feel like too, like our communication has gotten so much better. Like we are able to work through arguments better. We're just so much more patient and just our bond has just been so much like tighter, which I just love. So yeah, highly recommend. I will stop talking about it, but if you guys are wanting to try it, you should. <laughs> I think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but I wanted to make this like ghost DIY. Um, I actually went to Walmart yesterday to try and find everything, but I ended up not being able to, and I decided on a different like craft that I'm going to do right now. But look at how cute those are. I want to make these sometime soon and put them by my front door. I think that would just be so fun and so cute. This weekend is finally October 1st. I mentioned decorating on October 1st so many times in the last video. It like killed me when I was editing. But um, Nathaniel is actually going out of town this weekend because he's going to a bachelor party. It is for my sister's fiance. And so I am gonna have very like selected times in which I can decorate. So I'm trying to like prep as much as I can beforehand. And so instead of doing that ghost DIY, I saw another thing on Instagram where it was people painting ghosts onto like vintage photos. And you guys know, I have not known what to do with this bad boy since I got it. And so I decided that I want to paint little ghosts into this frame and then I'm going to hang it in the hall by the kids playroom so it kind of like extends the decor into the hall. And I'm really excited about it. I'm really hoping that I can make it cute. Um, all of the reels on Instagram make it seem so easy. So let's, let's see how easy it really is. Okay, honestly, not bad. I was kind of terrified to do this. I was like, I'm going to ruin this painting, but I was able to wipe it off when I made a mistake. And I feel like it just like added a really cute layer to this frame, especially since this is a target frame and like so many people have it. I love that it is now personalized to my home. I wanted to share with you guys a couple things that I received. This is from a company called Lollico which the girl is seriously the sweetest ever. She also has a YouTube channel and she's local to Arizona. So I will leave her channel linked below, but she created originally the shampoo and conditioner that are free of like all of the bad stuff. And then she added some other products as well. She has these like little silicone bath toys that don't mold. And this is by far my favorite thing she's come out with. She has a bunch of bamboo pajamas that she designed completely on her own and as you can see she's into affirmations which you guys know I say affirmations with my kids before they go to sleep every single day and I just think this is like the most beautiful well done design I think it is <laughs> so cute and then she also has some bubble waffle knit rompers this is like a little poncho to put over a swimsuit it's like completely open 
which it is just so cute too in like a muslin material. So if you guys want to check out anything, she did give me a coupon code for you guys. It's Kylene15. You can get 15% off. But if you grab anything, you got to grab these bamboo pajamas. They're so cute and so dang soft. This next item I purchased myself off an Etsy shop. You guys, how freaking cute is this necklace for Echo? It is like a pink pearl with like this opaque -y, I don't know what to call it, letters, but I am obsessed with it. I'll have to show you guys with it on Echo later when she gets back, but it is so dang cute. I want one for myself. Okay, I know I've talked about their boo baskets in every vlog for like three vlogs, but I wanted to share them completely finished. I did six things in their boo baskets, which you guys already saw the books, but these are the newest edition. These are little coloring books, and these were created by these girls who were actually a part of Echo's first birthday party. They did this like huge coloring station that was designed to her theme, but then they also did like the play area. And I just thought it was so fun to add this. These are actually on Amazon, so I will leave them linked for you guys. But how cute are these coloring books? I'm seriously so obsessed with them. And then I also did the pajamas like I've already shown you guys, the socks from Shop Olivia J like I showed you guys. And then I went to Target and I found the little Mondo Llama craft and so I put those in there. And then they also had these like cute little treat bags. So this is just full of some candy. But I thought that was like a fun way to just make it look a little bit cuter. And then my kids love M&Ms, so I put M&Ms in there too. But I couldn't be more excited to give them to the kids. I feel like they turned out exactly how I wanted them to, some things that are functional, some things that are fun, and some things that are yummy. And then I know this is so random and this is not staying here. I just thought I looked cute for a second. But if you guys have not got pumpkins from Trader Joe's before, they are seriously so cute and so affordable. These are like 78 cents or something like that. And then these are like $3 and they stack so perfectly and they are such a like muted, almost like pinkish orange color. And I just think they're so cute. I'm gonna add a couple to the playroom. Uh, maybe these and like some little ones too, but they are just so easy for like your kitchen So affordable. They actually last and don't get moldy I remember last year I had them on my counter for like a month and a half and they were good I have about 20 more minutes until my mom is back with the kids and all I've had today is a protein bar and that coffee, which had calories in it, but that is not good. That is not going to give me energy. I also need to catch up on some water. So I'm gonna take the last little bit of like complete silence, eat my lunch, watch a YouTube video, and then when the kids get back, we're gonna hang out for a bit before their naps. And then once they go down, I have a phone call. So it's a little bit of a jam-packed afternoon. And then when they wake up, we're gonna slow things down again because I want to make some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I made these last week and I ended up delivering them to our neighbors and everyone was like obsessed with them and we were too they were gone that day um and so i want to share the recipe with you guys because you guys have to try them they're so freaking good you already ate yours for the day you can't eat two bubby they're gonna hurt your belly <laughs> hey you can't eat two <laughs> kids were only in this playroom for like five minutes and they completely Destroyed it.
Y'all, these were a fail. I got an idea to do something a little different because a girl had posted about them and they were from the half-baked harvest recipe too, but look at how paper thin those are. I put the rest of the dough in the fridge to see if that will help, but I should have just made the ones that I was raving to you guys about. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decided to leave They settled down in oh, my feet Daddy! Yep! You guys, what a long day. Nathaniel got home at like 5.50 or so, and we were already eating dinner, because we usually eat dinner like right at five. Um, and yeah, it was a good day. I feel like I had a good day with the kids. It was productive. It was helpful that my mom had them for a couple hours, but it was a long day, that's for sure. I wanted to quickly talk about Halloween and Halloween costumes, because I have no freaking clue what we're going to be, and Rocky keeps switching his mind. We were going to do Buzz and Jesse for the kids, and then I was going to be Bo Peep, and Nathaniel was going to be Woody, but he's moved on to Iron Man, he's moved on to Spider-Man, at one point it was a Ninja Turtle, like, he has wanted to be so many different things that I don't know, and I feel like I don't want to just make Echo be, like, whatever he wants to be, so I'm kind of struggling with what to do, and I know we don't have to, like, match, but... You know, I'm that kind of girl that loves, like, a good matching family costume. So, yeah, if you guys have yours figured out already, comment them down below. I'm so curious to see what you guys are being. Anyways, I just am at a loss at what to do, and it's already almost October 1st, so I feel like I need to get on it. But I'm so excited for this, like, upcoming month. It's going to be so much fun. Nathaniel's going out of town this weekend, like I said, so, like, once this weekend's over, it's just, like, all fun and like festive and I just am stoked for it so I also wanted to remind you if you wanted to check out Haya and try out their chewable multivitamin you can click the link in my description box and you will receive 50% off your first month so I hope you guys love it literally I had to take it from Rocky today because he grabbed it and he was trying to get another one he literally thinks it's candy I'm like dude <laughs> so anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys